everybody. Well, that's right, there's a mess right there. Oh, uh, hi everybody. Uh, I started recording when I was in the closet there, uh, uh, getting this stuff out. So, um, so this is mailbag. It is June 4th. Uh, it's 9.47 according to my watch and uh, mailbag starts at 10. So, uh, I will be back in just a few minutes. And we will open these boxes together with the kittens. And then, uh, yeah, we'll chat then. So I'll be back. Okay. All right, hang on, kiddos. I know you're all excited to see me, and I'm excited to see you. But I got a couple things to do before mailbag starts, okay?
Alright, hey everybody. Sorry, just a tiny bit late, I think. Uh, here we are for mailbag. Okay, oh, I gotta tell you right off the bat, uh, I'm having a bit of a rough start this morning, so you have to forgive me if uh, mailbag starts a bit slow here, but we'll do our best. Oh, um, let's see. So, news wise, I mean, you can see we moved the kittens to the big room. And um, let's see, we've been treating them with dewormer, which may or may not uh, really, you know, it's, they had some bad poops. Dewormer is something we should do regardless. So we're doing the dewormer to see if that's going to clear everything up. Um, it's good, even if it's not the problem. And uh, if it's not, then our backup plan is to go for metronidazole. But I think it's already being effective, which is good. So uh, if you saw me this morning in here giving these kids all medicine, that's what that's about. We're just doing some dewormer, mostly for this one, although I'm sure that they've all, you know, anything that one of them has, they all have in some degree. But uh, a little smidgen here uh, was having some particularly bad poops. So uh, I, think, I think it's already cleared up, which is, which is good, if, if that's the case, but we'll keep an eye on it. Um, what else? Uh, oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> so we got a new mom cat, and she got a name last night from DJ. Her name is Ocean, and uh, um, she went to the vet yesterday to get her x-ray to see if whether or not she's actually pregnant. Turns out she is, and I think there's four kittens, um, but you can look for yourself. The x-ray is posted on Twitter, and uh, the doc thought that she would deliver in the next two or three days, I thought it would be over a week. Um, here's the funny thing though, uh, it's almost like the x-ray activated the kittens because uh, today and yesterday I was able to feel the kittens and, and see them kick and feel them kick and uh, you know before that I, I didn't think I was so I don't know, uh, anything could happen. It's all up in the air, she could deliver any minute, uh, it could be over a week, who knows. What we do know, and I've said this you know, before a million times, is that uh, little kittens don't show up on the x-rays until they're in the last couple few weeks. Uh, so we know we're getting close, what, you know, weeks close at least. Um, and chances are we didn't x-ray them on the very first day that they would have been visible. But again, we don't know. It's all guesses because uh, you know, we, don't, we don't know uh, what the conception date was, so we don't really have anything to go on. So, uh, that's that. Oh, I gotta adjust her camera, by the way. I see she moved out of the marshmallow bed and back up onto her bench. So, let's switch that. Um, there we go. Okay, uh, is there anything else that's important news? Oh, yeah, well, of course, Pugs are getting adopted today. Uh, that's gonna happen later today. And the, the timing is a little bit ambiguous, which is fine. All I know is that it's gonna be evening, uh, probably after five. And, and that's, that's all we know for sure. So uh, after five, I was gonna have Pug come in here for mailbag, but he was hanging out in the master bedroom, taking a nap with Custard, and I didn't wake him up, but I'm sure he will come in here at some point uh, prior to the adoption. And uh, otherwise we'll find some way to get him on the stream for at least a few minutes. Of course, he's been here a long time. You guys have had plenty of opportunities to see him. But uh, just because of that, I know, because he's been here a long time, I know it's extra difficult to see him go. Um, so I understand that. I feel the same way. Uh, now I think that's everything. So <clears throat> let's, uh, let's just dive right in. I didn't, ooh, I didn't, I didn't get the letters from my, I, I, there were letters. I don't think I brought them up. Should I go get them right now or should we save those for the end today? Uh... Let's go get them right now. That's a pretty nice way to start, I think. Uh, let, me go, let me go get those. It'll just take me one minute. I'll be right back. I'll also get something to, to wipe up this mess I keep forgetting. So uh, I will be right back. Hang on, hang on, hang on. And I'll also check in on Pug, see if he's up and around yet. If he's awake, I'll, I'll let him come in here.
All right, there we are, take two. Um, I thought of something else was, oh, I was just gonna explain the fact that uh, DJ, you know DJ just got back from her trip to see her family in India. I did forget to bring something to clean up that mess again. That's fine, we'll just let it sit for now. Um, DJ uh, is back from India and, uh, you know, obviously super jet lagged. And I think <clears throat> I have also been kind of jet lagged even though I didn't go anywhere because my sleep schedule was slipping. So I think we're both dealing with that and that probably explains why I'm a little out of it this morning. Uh, I haven't gotten the proper amount of sleep in a few days, uh, but I'm sure everything will readjust uh, soon enough. So there we are. Oh, I didn't cover up these addresses either. My goodness, wow. See what I'm talking about though. Uh, couldn't be more obvious. Anyway, all right, well, let's start. Let's start here with this postcard. There's a postcard here. Uh, the postcard doesn't seem to have any address but ours on it, so we're good with that. It's very cute little pictures of kitties, and it says on the back, <coughs> this is Sergio Leone stamp. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> um, okay, uh, Kitten Academy. I was told the Chinique Terror, I'm probably completely mispronouncing that, Chinique Terror in Italy had cats all over the place. Reality did not disappoint. There was even an orange with a bobtail, but no amount of attention could make the cats care enough to get pets from me. Frowny face. Heart, uh, Lindsay Cat. That's very cute. Uh, sneak tear. It was a long, hard road, but we got there, it says on the postcard. That's cute. And then, again, the Sergio de Leon uh, stamp then makes a lot of sense. Um, you can see the stamp there. It's very cute. And the kitties are very cute. Uh, Lindsay Cat, thank you so much for the little postcard. It's very nice of you to, uh, to think of us while you were visiting some cats there. That is super sweet. And of course, you know, uh, I, I never liked Westerns growing up as a kid. I thought they were super boring. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, somehow, I, yeah. Red Dead Redemption, uh, the, the game, the video game, was amazing, but even so, I still was like, I'm not into westerns. But then around the time Red Dead Redemption 2 came around, I was like so excited, I started watching westerns, and I just, I really got into it as a genre, and watched a ton of them, now I really enjoy it, so. <clears throat> so that's fun. Okay, this is an amazing photograph of a cat wearing a helmet made out of a Chinese takeout uh, container. It's <laughs> a really, really great photo. Look at that. Oh, wow. Even on the back of the card, they've done the same thing. Their logo's wearing the same container. That's very silly. I love it. Uh, inside, it says, Dear Mr. H, the best cat dad in all the world. Happy Father's Day to our fearless leader. Uh, lots of love and thanks for your rescue efforts with Dr. DJ. You're a true inspiration. I've been watching from the beginning, and I'm in awe. Aw, that's very sweet of you. You say you put so much love and compassion into what you do. Peace and blessings and lots of kittens, Cecilia. Cecilia, that is very sweet of you to send me a Father's Day card. And that's a very, very cute card. And then uh, we have uh, this one here. The, um, the return address on this one just says Texas KA Friends and a drawing of a cat. That's cute. And it says OK to read on stream. So that's exactly what we'll do in a minute. Why am I using my finger? We have letter opener. You see what I'm talking about here. A little out of sorts this morning. Okay. Ah, oh, wow, this is the same brand of card, and this one has a wonderful photo of a cat reading a newspaper and looking over his glasses at us. That's super cute as well. Inside it says, life, it's just one interruption after another. Oh, this is signed by a whole bunch of people. How cute is that? It says, dear, Miss, whoop, dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, we interrupted our normal lives for a great meet and eat down in the great state of Texas. Thank you for bringing us together, and thank you so, so much for all you do for the mom, cats, and kittens. Aw, that's cool. So there was a little Texas meetup, and uh, I, I can read some of these signatures. Uh, much love, Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty, with love to K.A. from Brecken Cat. Uh, Mr. A and Dr. DJ XXOO. Oh, and you've drawn little kitties that look like us. Uh, Ginger Cat Lover. Um, Perry, of course, Perry B. And we have uh, Love Ya KA Kitten Fangirl. That's very sweet. And then at the, the bottom it says, Say hi to Crew and the kids for us. Well, hi, Crew. Here you go. This, you want to read this card? Take one right there. No? Maybe? She's just looking at me like, what do you want from me? Here, you got an eye goober. Can I take it? Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm going to keep that. Put it in a safe place. Okay, there it goes. 
Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much. That's really sweet. You know, I have really fond memories of the last, well, I don't know if it was the last Texas meetup. Almost certainly was not, but the uh, the time that we went and uh, got to go out for dinner with everybody. Oh, man, that's some good barbecue in Texas, too. Uh, that, uh, that was really a good time. It's so nice to meet all of you, and I'm really looking forward to hopefully seeing some uh, of you at uh, KACON coming up in about two weeks. That's going to be really fun. I think it's probably going to be a little bit of a smaller KA con. You know, everything is, is contracted a little bit in the last two years, and that's fine. Uh, that's fine. But uh, I think it's still going to be a lot of fun, and I'm really looking forward to it. So that, I think, is the letters. Although there was this one that had a... Is it this one? Yes, this one came from overseas, and the customs declaration says it contains a card. So maybe that's another one that we should check. Oh, gosh, and another address I didn't find. And uh, this one, I'm definitely going to need some utensils to get open. All right, here we go. Hi, crew. Crew, these mom cats that we have in right now are just such sweetie pies. Uh, Crouton and uh, Ocean. Ocean? I said DJ named her Ocean, right? I did mention that, or did I cut myself off earlier? I don't know. Oh, well, look at that. That's very familiar. Um, and by now, I probably should have learned to pronounce Edinburgh, but I haven't. So that's the best you're going to get from me. We have a postcard here. And inside, uh, inside the postcard, yep, that's how it works. It says, Dear Mr. A and DJ and all the furries, just a wee card to say a big hello and enclose two copies of a poem I've written for lovely Crouton. One is for the Academy and one is for Crouton and her adutive family. I will miss Crouton when she goes to her forever home and her kittens too. Thank you for all you can uh, thank you for all you continue to do for kitties and for we humans too. Uh, with lots of love and best wishes from Joanne, your greatest Scottish fan. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. Just, uh, that's, that's, a, that's a very sweet uh, card. Thank you. I was reading a little blurb here about uh, Edinburgh, and uh, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't say anything about how to pronounce it. So, But uh, apparently they have the uh, Edinburgh International Festival and Military Tattoo, which both take place in August each year. I have no idea what tattoo means used in that context. That, that's, that's a very strange thing. I'll have to look at it later. Okay. It says, a poem for Crouton. That's you, Crouton? You ready for this? She's looking right into my eyes, just like her little kids do. I love that. I love it. When a cat looks right into your eyes uh, affectionately, it is a very sweet thing. And it shows they have a lot of confidence. So you have to be careful that they're not doing it, you know, like aggressively or to be dominant. But uh, you know, all very sweet here. So, Crouton, my lovely, I saw you arrive. I saw you emerge, knowing that at the Academy, you'd thrive. I watched with patience as your babies you baked. I hoped with all my heart that your delivery would be safe. You brought forth your kittens and each one was a gem. And as I had done with you, I fell instantly in love with them. Although you'll be leaving to live in pastures new, I'll never forget you, you and your charming furry crew. You've ensconced in my heart for all time to come, my loveliest crouton who shot who for me, shines bright as the sun. Very sweet. Joanne, thank you so much. I'm sure that her adopters will appreciate uh, the poetry that you have sent for them. I, I guess I need to set one of these aside so it doesn't get mixed in with my letters and instead goes into the stuff to be distributed uh, for the adoption. So there we go. Okay. Carrying right on. Castada. Okay. From Castada, it says in the mail, uh, return address here. It does appear to be drop shipped from a vendor, though, so I'm not sure there will be more of a note than that. Let's just check real quick. This is from Cats and Us Pet Supply on Etsy. And no, the only thing I see here is that it is from Castada, but Castada, uh, we know you. Thank you so much. And uh, it looks like the good stuff. It looks like a, a bag full of the real fur cat toys. i got to move this so you guys can see it's still got playing in his spring. Uh, looks like a whole bag of the real fur cat toys. These are very, very good toys. And in fact, uh, the number number one toy that I've seen these kittens playing with in here is uh, is this little real fur mouse with a tail on it. 
And it's also got some eyes in it that are very creepy when they show up. I think these little beady eyes are... And then on the end, I've noticed it has a tiny loop, which uh, would I, I'm tempted to get a wand out and have it fly around on, the, on a wand. So uh, my point was, though, these kittens obviously love real fur toys. So this is, is this a, huh, that's exactly what it is. This is one long toy that has uh, bound together with elastic so you can kind of separate, you see the separate the little balls of fur that it is made of. That's super cool. Hmm. I've never seen this particular kind of toy before. But, uh, but I know the kittens are gonna love that. The real fur stuff is just, they, they just go nuts for it. I mean, it's just in their nature, of course. So uh, let's see, this one is, this also, this is a very similar idea. Yes, this is a smaller, very similar idea. It's got four little yellow uh, fur balls that have rattles and also appear to be all connected by an elastic cord. Then we have, ooh, a tiny little white fur ball, a tiny little green fur ball, a tiny little pink fur ball, a tiny little off green, a greenish yellow, a blue, and here's a black and white salt and pepper. Ooh, very attractive. And uh, this, uh, this purple one. So that's sort of like a set of the pastel colored balls, except separated set. That's, uh, that's super cute because uh, then if, when it comes to endowments, uh, I don't have to open the bag and toss them in and let people think they were used. <laughs> that's convenient. Um, all right, those are, those are so cool. And the, the cats in the store that does uh, all this fur stuff is just, those, these are toys that I know, I know some people have mixed feelings about it. Honestly, I have a little bit of mixed feelings about it too. I get it, but the cats love them. You know, they just love them. So uh, that is awesome. Castata, thank you so much for those. I know these guys are gonna love them, whether it's here or in endowments. I really appreciate that. Uh, oh, and here's another one. This is also a drop shipment from a merchant uh, that it was from Castata. So let's check this one out from Castata. Okay. Oh, nicely wrapped, Merchant. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to, I, which cameras are on? I'm gonna, oh, you can see fine. Okay, no, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, mostly fine. Wow, you guys are playing with the ball track? I think that's new. I haven't really seen them play with that before. Mr. A and Dr. DJ, the black to kicker toys for Crouton to be deployed now. Two of the red palm toys are for faculty and the rest is for the kids, Crouton's kids specifically. Okay, uh, this string is gonna go like in my pocket or something so the kittens don't find it. There we go. Black kicker toy for Crouton, let's see. Oh, oh wow, oh wow, look at that. Well that does look like something that she would like and it's a little bit, uh, it's got catnip in it. Oh wow, it smells very strong of catnip actually. All right, it's got those little tassels on the end. I think Crew will like this. Do you? <laughs> She's like, I just want to be hang out and be petted. Aww. She is such a tiny cat. I don't think she's unhealthy. If you've been watching her weight on the weight chart, you might get the idea that, that she's unhealthy. She's not. We've had mom cats that were actually much skinnier than her based on you know, how, how much you can feel, uh, you know, how, much, how, how they feel. So. Uh, so she's just a very tiny cat. She's under six pounds, but I think that she's actually at a pretty good weight. I, I wouldn't mind seeing her gain just a little bit, so we're working on that. Um, but, but she's a very tiny kitty. I don't remember why I started talking about that, but uh, there we are. Okay, so the rest of the stuff. Wow, these are amazing. Look, these must be the red toys for the faculty. Is that, is that what she said? The red, two of the red palm toys are for the faculty. Look at that. It is a fuzzy, uh, this is the same material that you would make one of the marshmallow beds out of, actually. Um, and then it's got these feathers. Stick. Look at those. Wow, those are great feathers sticking out of the top there. So there's two of those for the faculty, plus there's a purple and a red one for the kids, plus uh, this tiny little real fur kicker with the tassels. That's super cute. And this tiny little real fur uh, thing with a bell and some tassels, uh, little um, braided tassels on there. Oh, hi, what do you think of all that, Nuggy? And then this is, oh, this is actually the twin of this one. I know they look a little uh, different in color, but they're the exact same design I just described with the strange beady eyes, the tail, and the little loop on the front so you could put it on a wand. Uh, so we already know that they like that. And this is from the store, uh, the, uh, the store that is called on Etsy, Bothwell Pets, B-O-T-H, or maybe it's Bothwell, I don't know, P-O-T-H-W-E-L-L. -L. 
So, uh, so there you go. Yeah, it's really from Castata, though, of course. Okay. All right, so Castata, thank you so much for that. Okay, so this stuff is all for the endowments. And, oh, well, not all, though, because this stuff goes for the faculty. So I'll set that uh, here for now. Okay, we'll figure that out. They are going to love those. <laughs> All right, and then this I'm going to just set in this pile for the moment because we know it kind of all goes in the same direction and I'm going to have to get a box, um, but uh, not this one because this box I'm not even going to open. What? Now, we can all tell what this is for the moment and I uh, have to talk to whoever sent it. Is there a note here that says who sent this one? Oh, oh, Terry, Terry, Terry A. I hear a P announcement over there. Can I make sure it's going the right way? Hang on one second. What are you, who's peeping? Oh no, so close, so close, buddy. He's just pooping on the litter, mad. Well, I, I missed it. He's at the end now. Uh, I think I should try to grab that before it gets icky. Uh, hang on. Oh no, what do I do? Okay, hang on. You're right. Hey, wow. You ever have that problem where uh, like you can't find the toilet paper uh, or you're too lazy to go get it from, you know, wherever you store it. So instead, uh, you just grab it from one of the other bathrooms and, and uh, perpetuate the same problem. Uh, my mom would call that, I think, uh, robbing from Peter to pay Paul. Uh, that's what we just did here because I keep forgetting to bring up wipes from downstairs. And uh, that's actually been ongoing for a while. So we're slowly running out of wipes in every room up here just because I haven't gone to get more from downstairs. Uh, pretty lazy, really. Anyway, I just stole these from the spa, and I think they are probably the last wipes that we have up here. Okay. Wow, buddy, you were close. That was a pretty good poop, but I see it's not an entirely good poop, so. Uh, so, I don't know. I'll have to evaluate. All right, where was I? I was just about to tell you that although this looks like the mouse bed that we had in Illinois for a little while, I, I, my, my brain recalls that one as being an entirely soft bed, where in this picture here, I can clearly see that the back part of the mouse is solid uh, with a scratcher on top, and also this kitty's tail is sticking out the back somewhere, and the only holes on the original were uh, through the eyes, which is very creepy. So, uh, so it looks like sort of a different version of the one that some of you that are very long time watchers will be familiar with. And I'm super excited to see whether uh, this is for deployment or whether it is just uh, for you know, general use or whatnot. So I will check with Terry on uh, Discord. I almost said IRC. I'll check with Terry on, uh, on Discord and see uh, what this is intended for. But it's very cool. It seems that, that creepy mouse bed was pretty cool too. Uh, so I think I, I'm not looking at Discord right now, but I know that there is a picture or a GIF of it also in the, the uh, nighttime infrared light that was just extra creepy because the original, I, I can't tell from the picture whether this one does or not, but the original had little tiny balls that hung down in the eye holes as well so that it would be like pupils and it made it extra creepy. It's just really, really creepy, but the cats love it and it's, it's a fun thing to have and I would totally deploy it in the room if that's what it's for. So uh, we'll find out, but uh, for now, let's keep rolling. Look at that, these guys like this weird little ball track, huh? This one, that, that the transforming ball track, I guess is what you'd call that. <laughs> He's really having a, a ball, uh, pun intended. Hmm. All right, well, let's, let's see what's next here. Uh, next up we have a box that has some stickers on it. Oh, from Beatrice and Bernadette, B&B. 
All right, well, we've gotten stuff from you in the past, and this is definitely your style, too. I should recognize it by now, because you guys uh, always put one sticker with a picture of a kitten on each side of the box. Uh, very cute and very consistent that way so far. All right, let's see what's in here. Okay, to read aloud. All right, perfect. Right on top, the note. J. Walter Weatherman is uh, going to stay in retirement. Oh, it's a very cute little uh, pen and ink of a kitty sitting on a parked bicycle with a basket of flowers. It's a very cute little street scene. And apparently it is titled Bike Cat. Go figure. All right. Inside it says, Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and all the cats and kittens at KA, it's the B&B sisters. We recently returned from a road trip to visit the national parks in Utah. Along the way, we picked up local papers for your reading pleasure. Wow. Uh, as usual, the blankets and toys are to be used as you see fit. The food, uh, oh, oh, uh, it's uh, for deployment and to be used as you see fit. Look cute with the, of course it would look cute with the cheese. Why didn't I think of that? Uh, Terry, thank you. Okay, sorry to interrupt B&B. Uh, along the way, we picked up local papers for your reading pleasure. As usual, the blankets and toys are to be used as you see fit. The food is for all those cute little hungry mouths to feed. Thank you for all you do. Beatri Beatrice and Bernadette. Uh, Bernadette and Beatrice. All right. Thank you very much. So this is a beautiful blanket. I love it with these cute little wide-eyed kitties all over. Uh, and it says something. Does that say Lily maybe? I think maybe it does. So that's beautiful, it's so soft. And then we have this. Uh, this is a great color and a great design. And uh, on the front side, ooh, wow. What does it say? It is a cat sitting in a cup of coffee, uh, drinking a cup of coffee uh, near a birdhouse with a strange town scene in the background and then a man walking through a door. So maybe the cat and the cup of coffee are also a building of some kind? You see the man walking through the door at the bottom? Very interesting. So on the one side is very soft and printed and on the other side it is Sherpa. Oh, it says something. Oh, maybe that would make more sense. It's coffee time. All right, no, it doesn't make it make any more sense, but it's still very cute and I like it. Also, I noticed the cat's coffee cup is full of holes. That's not going to be particularly effective. Hmm. Well, I really like, I, I am actually a big fan of surrealist art, and I feel like this has definitely got to qualify. So uh, I think that's awesome, and I love this sort of green um, color, too. It's a, a sort of a teal-ish, cyan-ish, light-ish, greenish thingish. I don't know. Uh, cyan's kind of more blue, and teal's kind of more green, right? Or would you go the other way on that? No, I think you would. All right. So that's that's really cool. I like that. Uh, wow, more blankets though, because we have one more blanket at least. Let's bring some things with it. Okay. Uh, let's see. This one is a very colorful. Oh, it's a very colorful kitty. Look at that. Beautiful. This one's more of a sort of an impressionist thing. Uh, look at those purple eyes. That is spectacular. And uh, I can't quite make out from so close what the front is. I think it's just his arm, right, or a, a badge or something. Hmm. Beautiful, beautiful. And uh, also, again, very soft and cuddly. These kittens are going to love it. Perfect little throw blankets to put on the chairs or the bean bag or whatever. Wow, these guys are not getting tired of this one. Really interesting toy, isn't it? Okay, so the rest of what you have sent is, as you said, a giant collection of toys to either deploy or endow or use as we see fit. I really appreciate that. Here we have those, uh, the fish that have the long feather tails, a big hit here. Uh, we have the little hummingbird that makes electronic noises, uh, also a big hit. Oh, more of the fish, okay, good. Some real classic Charlie balls. They call them turbo cat toy, or maybe turbo, is, no, turbo bi-coastal, so turbo can't be the, the brand name, right, can it? Yeah, who knows, anyway. So a uh, very cute little set of Charlie balls. Here we've got the, uh, the weird, um, uh, rattle ball. Um, I know I've asked before what you call this material and I probably have gotten an answer, but I can't think of it. You know what they remind me of are those squids on the Matrix. 
That's a weird reference though, isn't it? Okay, more of the fish. Uh, more little matrix squids. They don't really look like that, but the, the way the little, you know, maybe they remind me like a Medusa head or something with that green Nice color though. Okay, here we have a uh, another electronic bird toy. This one says motion activated mimics real bird sounds. All right, he looks like some sort of little blue jay thing. Very cute. Some more of the uh, matrix balls. I don't know what to call those things. <laughs> uh, ooh, a tiny cat blanket. Isn't he pretty too? Wow. These colors are just spectacular. This looks like uh, someone uh, did an acrylic painting. It looks very like acrylic and then transferred to a blanket, but really pretty. Okay, right there. And ooh, another electronic hummingbird. Uh, mylar ball set, mylar crinkle balls right there. Who, what? Oh boy, I gotta check that one too. Cause you're not even in the litter box zone. You're talking over here where I don't want anybody pooping. You come over here and try it right there now. See if he's going to go for that. Uh, so here we have another electronic bird. This one is a chickadee and another electronic bird. This one is a parrot. Oh, wow. I don't think I've seen the parrot before. A very tiny parrot with a big beak. There we go. That's the little parrot. This is the little chickadee. Uh, let's see. Crumb went into the big kid litter box. He's still looking around though and squeaking. I think he's gonna find someplace else to do his business. I'll have to keep an eye on him. So in addition to all that, you sent two cases of the Fancy Feast Classic Pate chicken flavor. Exactly what we feed everybody at the entire academy still. Also, oh, another bird. Uh, this one's got that long tail like the long mouse. And then, uh, oh, baby blankets. Yes, never too many baby blankets. Very nice. And finally, uh, there's still, uh, there's another case of food in there. I'm not going to get that one out because it looks the same as the other. Okay, it looks like he either did his business or gave up on it. Look at that. You gave a whole case, just like you said, of local papers all the way along your trip. How sweet is that? That is really cool. Summit Daily. SummitDaily.com. The Mountain States Collector. That's uh, that's got a guy on the front with a very long. Oh, Antiques and Vintage Depot. That guy's got a beard. Wow. Uh, the Country Register. Colorado and New Mexico, but it's available across the USA and Canada. The Country Register. Uh, May June. I see. And. Market plus something plus marketplace, 50 plus market. Oh, 50 plus marketplace, 50 plus adults. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know they had a paper for that. Uh, and Veil Daily. Actually, I don't know, it's rude, but I, oh, in a way, I feel like almost any newspaper these days is 50 plus, isn't it? I know, that's a rude thing to say, especially when I love newspapers. And I'm not quite there yet. Not far off these days, though. All right. Uh, well, for now, I'm going to put all this stuff... Oh, you know what? I'm going to take the food out and put everything else back in because the food goes someplace else when I start putting this stuff away. So that can come out, and these blankets and things can go back in for the moment. There we go. B&B, &B, you guys are so generous, and uh, that's some really fun stuff. And it was really... It's very, very sweet of you to take a trip and to think of me as you are traveling um, like that. That's, that's just touching. It's very touching, so thank you for that. Um, okay, oh, I think I missed a couple things that belong in here. And actually, now that we have a box with a little bit of extra space in it, I can take this other stuff that I was supposed to be putting aside for endowments, I think, uh, and things. Let me put those in here as well. This, I don't want to accidentally pick this up because that's one that they're like, hey, come back, come back. I wasn't telling you to stop playing with it, buddy. I was just moving it out of the way a little bit. Oh, well. Okay, there we go. Awesome. B&B &B again. Thank you very, very much. Okay. Oh, this is also to go down with the down stuff. So that's heading that direction. This is all heading this direction. All right, now we got that. Good. Okay, let's see what's next over here on this side. Because after that, we got that pile there. 
This one just says Kitten Academy on the outside, so that's us. Oh, it's a bread bed. Ah, yes, the familiar bread bed. Uh, when Maggie's class was in, we got a whole bunch of these. It is a slice of bread. I know it's a little hard to tell because it's all vacuum sealed in there for freshness. Um, but I know that's what it is. And it says here, carbs, carbs, and more carbs. Here's a slice of bread for Crouton and her kittens to loaf on for immediate deployment, please, from Joe and her cat Halfers. I assume Halfers and not Halfers. Uh, Halfers is a cool name. I, I know, recognize it too. I know you must have sent something recently. Uh, let me see if I can get this open very carefully because it is vacuum sealed, but there's also no way for me to get it open without using a knife. Um, so very, very gently. There we go, just one little tiny, cut this tape. Maybe, maybe, did I get all the way through without getting into the bed? Yes, nice. This is good because we can always throw this back against the back wall there when they start climbing that. They're gonna probably want some extra beds around just like the last guys did. Actually, I say when they start climbing it, but uh, uh, I know that like in the first minutes they were in here yesterday, Crumb already went part way up it. All right, there we go. Well, I know it's going to take a little bit for the bread to come back to its full size. <laughs> That's normal for these things that are sort of vacuum sealed like that. But once it does, it's a very realistic slice of bread. So, all right, I'm just going to toss this all the way back there, like I said, and uh, it will poof up. Whoop, just like a mom cat. All right, there we go. Uh, thank you so much to, uh, to Joe and Halfers. that right in here. Hi, look at you guys all the way up to the second uh, level of the cat tree. That's pretty impressive too. All right, in the post office, I put a convenient little carrying uh, hole in the top of this box for us. This one says from Rhonda. Rhonda, thank you. I feel like Rhonda sent me something on uh, Discord that, uh, that would explain what I'm about to open. So maybe I should take a, just a real quick look uh, to see if that comes right up here or not. Or maybe I'm just imagining, I don't know. Let's see here though. There it is, Rhonda, yes. There we go, you did, you sent, um, I'm sending scratching pose and, uh, okay, hang on a second, wait, wait, wait. Um, oh, okay, no, that's it. Okay, so you say, I'm sending a few scratching posts and springs to KA, but it seems they'll be delivered over the course of a few weeks. I couldn't add notes, but there's no class preference, so deploy as you see fit. It's been a while since I sent stuff. Yes, I know we don't have to, but three of my kitties uh, had some health issues at the time, so the extra budget, budget went, to vet, bloop, went to vet and food. I remember you mentioning the food study. I feel the pain. I spent hours feeding food stats, a feeding, no pun intended, food stats into my spreadsheet after my vet acquired the criteria for the last diet I had to take into account, but now they can all eat the same food again and I don't have to shuffle them around so cat A doesn't eat cat B diet, etc., etc. Anyway, I hope the kids like the stuff. Oh, Rhonda, thank you. Um, and uh, yeah, wow. Uh, I actually kind of shelved that whole project for a while, as you can tell, because everybody's still eating Fancy Feast. We didn't even get all the way through the experiment. It is a lot of work. So yeah, um, yeah, uh, you, you, you definitely made it through that successfully though, which is good. So, all right, uh, let's see here. So what have you actually sent? Oh, this one includes notes, all right. So let's see, uh, the notes say, this seemed like a nice, oh, but that doesn't necessarily uh, go with it. It seems like a nice little thing for kids to get acquainted with scratching posts, no class preference, deploy as you see fit. Uh, all right, perfect. Oh, another thing. Hi, it's been a while since I've been able to send stuff to KA due to health issues with three of my kitties. All three are doing well at the moment. So here are some funny scratching posts. Deploy as you see fit. All right, good. All right, cool. Rhonda, thank you very much. So first off, big bag of uh, springs. Very, very classic. Uh, and some cats think that you can never have too many springs. Custard is one of them. Uh, why don't I see any springs out and deployed in here, guys? I know you had some to start with. Oh, maybe they're back there in the basket. Um, or maybe I should just steal one out of here real quick. Let me open this up. 
and the steel out. Uh, these are all sort of stuck together. You have to separate them out. There we go. A blue spring, and we'll give you a green spring. And then we'll save the rest to go into deployments and etc. for now, anyway. Okay, there we go. Oh, nice. What do you think? You like a spring? Okay. All right, now what kind of scratching posts are we talking about here? These must be like the little iris toy kind of things, maybe? Like the ones we're familiar Ours are all very old now. <laughs> and uh, starting to look a little threadbare. Ooh. Oh, no, this is super cute. Oh, my goodness. Wow, this is not what I expected. Not even remotely what I expected, obviously. This is a large apple and a tiny apple, um, each made out of, like, sisal rope. Sisal? 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 Sisal. Sisal, right? Um, that's, uh, that's too cute. All right, I'm not going to open the plastic bag yet. I think you can see well enough what's going on there. Uh, but it is, it's a re really, it's apple shaped too, all the way down to like the bottom having the little bumps on it and the top having a leaf. And I believe this must be a silver vine uh, stem for the apple on top. Of, even the, the little one has a little silver vine. It's so cute, look, it's a big and a little. That's adorable. That is completely adorable. I'm going to put that back in here. It doesn't need to go back in that box. And this one, oh, what is this? This is very heavy. Those apples are a little light. I, I don't think they're going to get scratched as much as they're going to get rolled around, which is fun. It might be fun to see, uh, like, the faculty pushing that big one around if they did. Uh, now, this is, oh, it is another scratching thing. It is a, clearly a, some kind of scratching post. Let's see if I can puzzle out what it might look like. Oh, let's see. Cat scratching, no, it doesn't, okay, it doesn't really help me that much. Hmm, well, there's all these parts. Maybe there's an instructions that has a picture of what it would look like if it were assembled. Oh, what is that? Wow, there's some weird parts on it. Look at this, what do you make of that? I guess that probably goes on the top of a post, huh? It's like a cap for a post with a weird little uh, handle. These are familiar because we've got a whole set of these uh, that, that can be replaced right over there. I still don't see instructions that have a picture or anything. All right, but no, I think I get the idea now. It is, it is just, a, it's a, a just, a, not just, but it is, I think, your basic scratching post. It's a, there's a base at the bottom here that's gray, and then there's two pieces that stand up. And on the top, obviously, goes this, and I'm guessing this sticks out the, the top of the post. So that, that all makes perfect sense to me. Um, that, we I think, uh, would make a very good scratching post for little tiny kittens. Uh, or even not tiny kittens. With the two parts, it probably is fairly tall. You know, like... Uh, there. That is plenty tall for, a, uh, for an adult cat, too, I think. And there's... Oh, I see. And this, these are... Um, ooh, how does this go? This is going to be a fun one. All right, we'll figure it out. But it's got these... Two of these weird little platforms, uh, but the strangest thing about the platforms, oh, no, no, I got it now. I got it now. Look, it doesn't go like that. It goes like this with the base, and then this stuff goes on top of here, I bet. Just picture this with a base on the bottom. There you go. Kind of like that, I think. You know what, though? We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out later. <laughs> it looks very interesting. There's a couple other parts in here, too, so, all right. It's a, it's a puzzle. It's a bit of a puzzle. It's an entertainment for me and for the cats. All right. Or maybe there are instructions buried in here somewhere and I'm not finding them at the moment. And they'll turn up once I get it all out. Uh, which I'm not doing now. I'm putting this all back in if I can make it fit again. How is this in here? There we go. I think we got it. All right. Well, those are fun little tiny cat scratching posts. They're both going to be great. And uh, those apples are just adorable. Wow. I'm going to push that in this direction. Okay. Now we have a chewy box. Ooh, watch your tail there, kiddo. I'm always saying that to you. Whenever she uh, goes out the door, she likes to stand in the doorway, and then she just slowly goes out, and she leaves her tail in the doorway forever. So I can't close the door properly. you got to learn to start pulling your tail through, kiddo. All right, well, this is from Chewy, and it only says on the, the address, it says Two Kitten Academy. That's it. And I know that uh, Chewy doesn't let you leave a note. So it's going to be a little bit of a mystery who this is from and what it's for, but we'll 
use our best judgment unless someone reaches out to say it's from them and for something in particular. Ooh, I see something that says it's a goodie box, though. That's a nice thing. Oh, hey, this is very familiar. <gasps> well, one part of it is very familiar. That's this part. It is the uh, Cadet Vespa. Cadet sort of um, fancy brand where they do like wooden toys and scratchers and stuff. In fact, that that weird cat tree that is in the spa now that some of you have seen is a cat at Vesper brand uh, cat tree. It's, uh, it's very nice. So this is the this is one that I had on my Amazon wish list, my personal Amazon wish list for a very long time before I finally bought one. And then uh, we deployed it here for quite a while. And uh, I think I can't remember uh, what its ultimate fate was, but I'm sure it got endowed to somebody. I can't imagine what else it would have done. And the reason I loved this particular design so much is you can see right here, it's a little cat um, cave and it's open on both ends and one end looks like a cat head and the other end looks a lot like a cat butt. <laughs> With that little ball hanging down, it, uh, it almost seems intentional and uh, it made me giggle every time I saw it. Um, but it's a little bit on the pricey side, so it took me a while to justify getting one. The good news is that uh, when we deployed it, I found it was very sturdy and would last a very long time. So, uh, so probably worth the price. It's awesome. I, it's very cute. I love it. Um, that's awesome. And uh, wait, there's more. Uh, so we also have the Blue Wilderness Cat Treats. Uh, very good choice. We have a tiny refillable catnip squirrel. Uh, I know you can't quite see that it is a squirrel. Uh, that tail looks more like a fox, but it does say squirrel, and I trust them to, to be correct on that. Oh yeah, there we go. When we see the when we see the face, that's that's a squirrel face. That'll work fine. And then we have a something called a goodie box, new besties welcome home bundle box for kittens. Well. That's a new one on me, so let's take a look and see what Chewy thinks a welcome home bundle box for kittens would contain. So, a goodie box, new besties. Oh, that's cute. It's got a little book that says welcome. It's got a welcome home. Aww, that was too much. And then it's got a uh, new kitten checklist. It says, uh, here's your checklist. T make sure you take a picture the first day, take their measurements, and visit Chewy's new pet shop. All right then. Oh, they have a new, uh, that's a new pet shop at Chewy, because you go to chewy.com slash new dash pet. Hmm, it says. And then we also have a checklist of uh, my kitten's first um, sort of, uh, you know, their first trip to the litter box, their first catnip, their first meow, their first play session, the first stalking game, the first scratching session, the first sneak attack. Yeah, hey, those are all pretty good firsts. I like it. So uh, what we have inside is a bag of the classic cat toys. Look, we got a Mylar ball, we got a Jingly ball. Uh, we got one of those jingly balls that always ends up in pieces because you step on it. Uh, <laughs> and I see we've got a little fur ball. We've got a micro uh, wand with uh, the polar fleece uh, on it. And a little tiny mouse. A bag that says, it says sugar on it. Uh, that's a strange spelling. Sugar, um, S-U-G-A-A -A is what I'm reading there. I can't read it any other way. I know that last letter should be an R, but I can't make it be an R. I don't know what's wrong with my... I don't know. Okay, uh, so there we go. Uh, sold as a set. Do not separate. Okay. We have Temptations Chicken and Dairy flavor, which means for kittens. <laughs> I love the little chicken running away with a milk bottle. <laughs> Very cute. Um, we have Origin Kitten. Wow, uh, fresh or raw, taste the origin difference, or O-R-I-J-E-N. I think this is a food, not a treat though, right? This is a whole prey diet, it says, wow. Um, it says five ingredients are, the first five ingredients are chicken, turkey, salmon, whole, hang on. Oh, whole herring and chicken liver. Let's see if that's true. Let's read the actual ingredient list instead of the front. Uh, okay, uh, ingredients, no grains, no meals. Oh, interesting. Chicken, turkey, salmon, whole herring, chicken liver, liver turkey giblets, 
uh, whole mackerel, eggs, dehydrated chicken, dehydrated turkey, dehydrated herring, dehydrated chicken liver, dehydrated egg. Wow. All right. That were all the way down the list uh, before we get into things like whole red lentils. All right. You said no grains and you're putting in lentils. Okay. Technically, maybe not, but come on. Whole peas. I'm going to say the same thing. Uh, Pollock oil. Pollock? Pollock. How do you say that fish, right? It's a fish. Pollock um, oil. Natural chicken flavor. Pea starch. Chicken fat, etc., etc., etc. There's a whole bunch more ingredients, but I'm not going to read all the way down. You get the idea. Very cool. Well, that seems like some very good food, though. So there's a little like one or two meals worth of the dry food there to try your kitten on. Churu. Oh, good job, Chewy, man. You guys know the good stuff, and you you really included it. Like they're not cheaping out on this little kitten uh, thing. Uh, a food called American Journey minced chicken in gravy for kittens. Also very cute. And then finally, it says one cat tower and replacement accessories is the last thing in the box. Uh, also, it says, uh, I don't know, there's some writing in the box, but it's just like, oh, this is really good stuff. Yeah, we know. Uh, I think this is just going to be a ball tower, but it's going to be the kind of ball tower that has the, the like extra little thing off the top. Ooh, cool. It's very green. Like a hunter green. And yes, it does. It has, uh, oh, that's cute. One of the attachments for the tower is a bumblebee. Look at how happy he looks. Wow, he looks like he wants me to eat some breakfast cereal. And, uh, let's see, it said bee and leaf. I kind of expected there to be a second toy that was a leaf, because most of them do come with two attachments, but I don't see a second attachment here. Maybe the leaf is just supposed to be the greenness, the hunter green of the tower itself. Good enough for me. That's fine. Oh, no, wait, no, there it is. It's buried underneath the balls. There is a second attachment, which is a leaf, but it's stuck in the middle there. I see it now. Perfect. Well, that's that's a pretty nice box of stuff uh, for starting out a kitten. That's cool. Um, hmm. Very nice. Okay. Well, we'll figure out uh, who sent this to us and what exactly they intended us to do with it. Make a pretty cute thing to just send uh, to somebody as an endowment, maybe. There we go. I think I got everything that came in this box back into this box. There we go. And the little drawings on the front of it are very cute too. Look at that. It's got, whoops, it's got a cat climbing. Oh, I guess that's a tree, not a wall. Oh, it's a curtain. <laughs> Look, we got a kitty here and a kitty here on the thing and a kitty here and a kitty here and a kitty here. And there's one in this basket and then there's one here climbing what's clearly the curtain. And I see the curtain rod right at the top. That's uh, yeah, well, accurate anyway. Well, thank you to whomever sent. That is a, a very nice box of uh, chewy uh, stuff. And I'm sure that on my Discord messages, somebody's going to say they sent it and what they wanted us to do with it. Now I'm going to see if I can combine these, that in here. And this is its own box, so that's fine enough. I'm actually going to just take a look real quick because I saw, I know my, my phone was sort of beeping at me while I was doing all that. Can I just look here, I wonder? Oh! Oh, you know what? I did. It's okay. So this must be from Trouble and Carry then. I saw something from Trouble and Carry then, but though. But then why didn't why didn't the Chewy Box seem to say it? Am I imagining things? Well, this is what you get when I start a mailbag by saying uh, it's going to be one of those days. Because uh, here we are. Okay, uh, well, I'm assuming <laughs> that it is, uh, oh, oh, wow, that, uh, that cat scratcher, somebody posted a picture of it here, I'll show it to you guys, that does not look at all like what I would have imagined, it's very cute though, uh, so it turns out, uh, one of the bars goes this way, and the other one, can you, see, can you guys see that, I don't know if you can see that, alright, fine, if you're on the Discord, you already saw that, so you know better than I do, and, uh, there you go, okay, all right, we're going to move on for now. Uh, thank you. Uh, but now we've got all the boxes on this side to do, so let's do those. And I promise you, everything will get to the right place, you know, <clears throat> in due time, as we like to say. So, all right. Uh, let's see here. I've got my knife, I've got my phone, i got this thing. We're going to push out of the way for the moment. Let's just slide over a whole stack. Ooh, there we go. Oh, wow, I wrinkled that. Okay. See, there's also some other little mess over here. All right, well, we'll clean up. This one, oh, it's another one from Terror Bear. Uh, that's Terry who sent uh, the previous thing there. 
Oh, the good stuff. Oh, very good stuff. All right. So uh, the good stuff in this case is a case of, oh, two cases of chicken and gravy, Gerber baby food. Wonderful. Wow, you can never have too much. These kittens are crazy about the baby food. In fact, um, I just used baby food to mix with their dewormer today because yesterday when they took the dewormer, they had very bad, uh, they did not like the flavor and they made it very clear and they were hating me. So today I mixed uh, one part of dewormer with an equal part of Gerber baby food. I used the turkey because that's what I just happened to grab out of the cabinet first. Uh, although we, we usually just keep the chicken around. We've got one case of turkey. So uh, anyway, I grabbed the turkey. I mixed it uh, equally with the uh, dewormer. And even though it meant that they had to eat a lot more of it, uh, they all liked it pretty well. Nobody complained anyway. So uh, that's that was a very good plan. Uh, anyway, chicken and uh, 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 gravy, uh, baby food, very good cat treat. And then uh, we have two bags of these wand toys. These are the wand toys that include those red uh, rattle mice uh, with the fur and uh, the worms that are also like these are two of the very best um, wand toys as far as like most cats and Logan are concerned. So uh, that's going to those are awesome. Plus, you sent the wands to go with them, uh, which include a whole bunch more of the worms and feathers and two wands. And these are those good wands, like I always say, the, the good wands that have, um, I keep saying fiberglass, I don't know if they are or if they're like carbon fiber or something, but they're just, the wand itself is basically unbreakable, like a fishing rod, like it'll bend and bend and bend, but it won't break, uh, but also collapsible. So really uh, great wands, I love them. Uh, so uh, I know uh, Tear Bear will let me know where those are meant to go. And for now, I'm gonna put them all right back in here because it's a good fit. Thank you. There we go. And slide that out of the way. Thank you very much for those. All right. We have a Target box. Smiling Bex. Oh, I think it's been a while since we've heard from uh, Smiling Bex on the... Uh, has it? Maybe not. Maybe I'm making that up. You know what? I don't know. Oh, wait a minute. What? This is a Target box addressed to Smiling Bex. I mean, addressed, you know, as being from Smiling Vets, but I believe shipped from Target, and it includes a note. Look, Target just put the note right on the inside flap, too. I, that's new to me. I didn't think that Target would let people leave notes, but there it is, and it says, everything is for KA to use as you see fit. All right, well, good. Also, this is ah, stuck to the... Okay, well, that's not... This whole thing is good. All right. <laughs> okay, so here we have uh, Boots and Barkley pom-pom cat toys. We have uh, set two sets of those. There you go. We have the Smarty Cat Skitter mice. Now these are these mice are always a big hit. This is like uh, cats that like to fetch, like Loganberry or uh, uh, Scotty, who was just here. This is one of their favorite things. Just these plain little fabric mice with the the tail. Real big hit every time. And apparently they come in a million varieties. I haven't seen this particular set before with kind of the, um, these sort of pastel colors and then one rainbow stripey mouse. And it looks like there's two sets of those as well. So those are going to be a big hit for sure. And then another pop-up uh, tent. This is a really cool one that I also haven't seen before. It says Quirky Kitty. And it's a pop-up tent and tunnel, apparently, and I love it. It's a rainbow tunnel. It's got rainbow unicorn cats on it and also more rainbows. That is really, really fun. Uh, I love it. It says whimsical tent and tunnel for cats of all ages. And yes, uh, I know that uh, these, these cats are going to love this thing. Uh, pods are always hit, especially these little pop-up pods for some reason. And I'll tell you, uh, if you have a pop-up pod and you think your cat doesn't like it, the real trick is uh, either get them in the pod or put your hand in the pod and sort of, if you scratch the side of the pod with your fingernail, the, the nylon that it's made out of makes a real distinct sound. And uh, if the cat comes over and investigates it and you can play with them from the other side, it's like playing through a blanket, like the undercover game where they'll attack it through the pod. And uh, that is really stimulating for them. I've never seen a kitten that didn't like that game quite a bit. And if you set it up just right, you can get them to play with each other that way with one kitten on either side, you know? 
So, uh, so these are awesome. Thank you so much. That, that's, a, that's a really cool pod, too. I'm going to put those in here for now. We have another Trixie box. This one says, oh, it's another Terror Bear. All right. Oh, and this one. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, hey. That's familiar because uh, it is the exact same one. For a minute, I thought I picked it up again, but no. It's, uh, we've got two of these. Wow. Okay. Very generous. Thank you so much. I'm going to put this right on top of the other one right here. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Hi, buddy. Hi. I didn't mean to just hit you with my leg, did I? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Look how cute you are, though. Ah. <sighs> Hi, buddy. You gotta pick up this plastic or one of you is gonna eat it. Okay. All right, well, we've got a couple more boxes to go. Put that in my pocket with that string. There we go, nice and safe. Hi, buddy, I know you want some lap time, don't you? Well, let's see, hang on. I think, uh, I think we can arrange for some lap time, but maybe not quite yet, okay? We might have to get to that a little bit later today, at least if you wanna settle down for a while. How do I uh, how do I get this over here without too much disturbing of the kitten or dropping or spilling anything? Hang on, hang on. We can do this. We can do it. Oh, oh, oh almost dropped that. I left the cleaning supplies on top of that uh, stack, so we made it though. Hi, bud. Hi, you just want to sit here for a minute and help me out and open the last of these packages, huh? Good plan. All right, this is from Ionice. Uh, Ionice, Ionice, ooh, Ionice. That's a better way to say that, right? That must be right, or is it? I don't know. Uh, Ionice on Discord, that's I-O-N-N-I-S-E. And let's see here. Now I know this is a good point, a good reminder, a good point for me to mention that Ionice also sent something that said it was for the raffle, which I haven't even brought up here. And uh, that's the KACon raffle. There's a giant raffle at KACon, and all the proceeds go then. Uh, I, I think what they're doing, uh, what they've done in previous years anyway, is to sort of split those uh, raffle proceeds 50-50 between Kitten Academy and the Danbury Animal Welfare Society. That's the animal shelter that we work with right now. So uh, that's my guess. Um, and there were several items that were sent in this week for that, uh, that raffle, as well as in previous weeks we've made, um, the people uh, that are on the KECON planning committee have made multiple trips here to pick that stuff up. Also a good point to, to mention that um, the people on the KECON planning committee reached out to uh, Fred, uh, that's the owner of the Ripple Rug, uh, the official Ripple Rug, Who's, uh, who's supported us quite a bit in the past, and he uh, gets, you know, like returned items that he sells on Amazon, the Ripple Rug. He sells the Ripple Rug on Amazon and on his own website. And when he gets returns, he, he doesn't feel like he can resell them, even if they weren't really opened or don't look like they were opened. He can't just resell them. So instead, he saves them up and uh, sends them to us and probably to some other people too, I expect. Um, but in the past, he sent us, you know, half a dozen, and uh, we should sort of parcel those out and send them, uh, especially when kittens get adopted together, uh, because it's a real fun way for kittens to play with each other in a ripple rug. But also, uh, there's a lot of cats that like it just by themselves, like Custard uh, loves to, to sort of hide in it and play in it all by himself. So, uh, so anyway, long story short, uh, not, not short enough apparently, uh, Fred, from, Fred Ruckel from the Ripple Rug uh, sent us, uh, the KACOM people connect, oh, a hundred, a hundred re returned or rejected uh, ripple rugs. It's a lot, it's a lot of ripple rugs. It's a whole bunch. So I think we're going to be in the ripple rugs for a while. And uh, that's pretty exciting. There might be a few of those that also go to the raffle. So uh, I, don't, I don't know what the plan is, but that would be my guess. Uh, so very, very cool. Okay, uh, I and I, sorry, I interrupted myself because uh, like I said, you also sent stuff for the raffle and that reminded me that I should mention that. All right. Oh, the note. All right, I like that, right on top. Very cool, okay. Hi, Mr. A, DJ, faculty, and kittens, that's you guys. Another month, another trip to Belgium. I live in the US going there for work. Wow, that must be fun. And that means some more treats for faculty and residents. I tried to find some food for cats, uh, 
I tried to find some food flavors not readily available in our grocery stores. Wow. And for residents, some chocolates with orange and raspberry ganache, Ooh. Uh, as well as a box of chocolates from uh, from the chocolate uh, chocolate line, I guess. This is in the purple box, famous as the proprietor was at one time, the chocolatier to the Rolling Stones. Oh, wow. Uh, the flavors inside are a mix of traditional and not traditional and not flavors and if you are lucky you'll even have a chocolate in the shape of the stones logo hope everyone enjoys ionice on discord well uh you know even if the chocolate doesn't come in the shape of the stones logo all the chocolate is going to pass through the stones logo i can tell you that um all right so we start at the top with purina gourmet uh, it says Philippines in sauce. All right. Uh, it looks like a beef um, beef fillet uh, kitten food. Here we have an ice pack with little penguins on it. That's very cute. I guess that's to keep the chocolate and stuff going. Oh, wow. Oh, you know, the chocolate line. Very familiar. I think you must have sent us some chocolate line stuff before. In fact, this is uh, my chance to ramble for just a second. Yesterday, uh, I, I didn't move these kids until very late in the day, and one of the reasons I almost didn't move them at all yesterday is I went to make myself lunch. I had these potatoes that I had purchased recently and uh, put them in the cabinet, and I was like, oh, yeah, I got to use those for lunch. So I pulled them out, and some of them had rotted already, and it was disgusting. It was the most disgusting. Rotten potatoes smell so bad, and they just turn into like this liquid, and it's so, it's the grossest thing. So not to belabor the point, uh, but it grossed me out so much that I had to clean out the entire pantry and like wash down everything, the shelves. It just, it smelled so bad. Uh, and they weren't even in there that long. So, um, so I ended, I ended up cleaning out the entire pantry and it was definitely, uh, there was an old folded up bag uh, from the chocolate line. I, I guarantee it was the same purple and the same logo and I recognize it very well that I tossed out. It's just the bag that was left. So uh, maybe you had sent this to us uh, a while back and that had been living in there since I ate all the chocolate. Uh, so that's exciting, uh, very exciting. In fact, I even seem to recall eating a Rolling Stones logo chocolate in the past, although eating a lot of chocolate, so I don't know, maybe. Anyway, uh, that's gonna be really fun. Thank you so much for that. Um, here we have a Sheba Filets. Now we have a Sheba brand stuff here, but I've never seen Filets and I've definitely never seen it done. Uh, look at this, this, has a, this is the same sort of Sheba tin that they sell all their foods in, but this one has a transparent top, so you just see the food. That's, that's the actual food. That's not like printed on there or anything. It's transparent, that's so smart. I don't think I've seen that before. Uh, here we have uh, Shiba uh, Gourmands. Ooh, Taste of Tokyo, it says. Taste of Tokyo, wow. Uh, I can't read most of these words, though. I just know, um, actually, I don't think I know any of them, but it says seafood, and this word says salmon, which probably means salmon, right? I don't know. Is there an English? There's no English at all. I just am going to have to guess. Hmm. Well, I can tell the cats are going to like it, though. So that's another uh, Shiba product. Taste of Tokyo. Very interesting. All right, here we have truffles. Wow, that's a generous uh, assortment of truffles. Dark are orange. Milk are from... Uh, oh, oh, milk are raspberry. I see. Uh, I'm not going to try to pronounce that in, uh, in French or whatever. So uh, there we go. Look at those. Those are very cute little tiny truffles. I love them. Here we have some tissue paper. Here we have Chunk sitting on top of Grom. Okay, this is fun. Some very, like, exotic. Uh, and I like the fact that you went out of your way uh, as someone who travels between both countries to find stuff that, that we don't often see here. That's, uh, that's cute. So this is mini fillets in sauce. This is uh, met kip au poulet mit Hun, which I'm surely mispronouncing, and the only word I know there is, uh, what, is poulet going to be uh, chicken of some kind? I'm, uh, that's German, too, so I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. Why do I say probably? There's no chance. There's no chance I'm pronouncing any of this correctly. And then we have Vitalive uh, Terrine, and I just see beef. Uh, that's all I know, so. All right, cool. 
Those are very cute though. <laughs> uh, we have another Shiba. Okay, this is Taste of Paris. I see. So we're going to be we're world travelers for our kitties too. And then Companino brand Vitalive. I think that's the brand anyway. And this is definitely ham and liver and uh, duck. Canard would be duck, right? And uh, I don't know this last one. Lagnu? Uh, Lagnu. Lagnu. Would that be shrimp? No. Uh, I don't know what that would be, actually. I can't think of what that might be. I probably should know better. Okay, I tried. So uh, some exotic little cat foods for our uh, very not exotic little kitties. I love it. Thank you so much for those. That's a fun thing to do. And I hope traveling has been fun. Wow, that's a, that's a tough trip to have to make on the regular basis. I mean, DJ flying uh, around the world to go to, to uh, India just once throws everything off here for months. You must never feel like you are not jet lagged. I mean, it's crazy. Wow. Uh, so thank you so much for that. Actually, I don't know why I'm putting these back in here. I should put these with the... I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm going to put these all back in here, actually, because this is all going to go to the same zone in the house. So that will work. Okay. All right. Uh, I am ice is how I'm going with that. And thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. And thank you, by the way, so much for whatever it was that you sent for um, the, uh, the, the raffle. I really appreciate that as well. Actually, I put that in the wrong spot. That should go in this pile. Okay, there we go. All right, we have another Chewy box, and this one does say Trouble Carry on it. Uh, where the other one, I'm... I'm you know what? Who cares? Um, now we know what's going on. This one definitely says it's from Trouble and Carry. And... Uh... Oh, there we go. I pushed the knife out of the way. That's why I couldn't. Right, let's see. Oh, oh, well, I guess we know what's in here. It says My Zoo Space Plan Wood Series. Hmm. Well, I don't know what that means, but that drawing looks extremely cool. So let's see if that's what it is. Well, good job. This is a. Uh, Oh, no, okay, I thought this was going to be a box in a box, but no, it's just knife protection. Look, everybody's doing it now. Okay, then. What on earth? Look at the way this is packed. It's got like a... Uh, like it's been secured uh, like, uh, like NASA. This tape in a hexagon pattern. Uh, that's how NASA does it, by the way. If you didn't know, yeah, the space shuttle, that's, uh, that's the deal. Mm -hmm. They just use hexagon tape. Yep, that's it. Uh, let's see here. So there's more in the box, but this looks like a cat pod and it's got obviously a dome bubble or maybe it goes sideways. Uh, no, this one sits up, I think. So it's got a, a bubble, but it's right now the bubble's inverted for shipping. That's what's being held in it. I'm not going to open it quite yet, but the outside is made of a very nice wood I can see that's been bent around, but it feels it's heavy. It's solid. Uh, I think it actually is. It's a plywood, um, not like a MDF or something. The base is MDF, but the top, uh, the sides are, are shaped uh, plywood, so sturdy and uh, nice. That's that's quality. And then, oh, the rest of what's in the box are the uh, tools to assemble it, as well as a tiny little drawing. Yes, that is exactly right. It sits the way it is, and it's got a little a bubble dome on top. Uh, very cool. Hmm. And apparently there's a whole set of them that match uh, that same sort of aesthetic. Also, uh, would probably look pretty good with the, uh, the cat uh, Vesper uh, thing, because that's also a very nice wooden wood. Uh, those are cool. <laughs> this little kitty looks a little concerned. Wow, that is a, that is a really nice uh, cat um, pod, I guess. Yeah, it's a pod, why not? And the, uh, the transparent top, I think, is gonna be very interesting to the cats. And also probably pretty good for us because it means we can just shoot a camera right down in there and you can see the kittens even when they're in the pod. Also, it means the inside of the pod will always be well lit and we won't have the issues that we have with this box sitting behind me, uh, as you may have noticed, trying to keep kittens visible when they're inside of it. This gives us uh, all the advantages. Uh, it's easily lit and it's easily seen into from several directions, uh, but also uh, feels probably very safe for the kittens. So. Uh, they're going to love that, too. Uh, thank you so much, Trouble and Carrie. That is uh, uh, very quality and uh, thoughtful. 
uh, for the cats. Thank you. Okay, one last box. This one says Target and... Uh, oh, I see it says to Kitten Academy Smiling. Well, I think we know who that is. Smiling Bex, thank you so much. Oh, ooh, nice. Oh, nice. Wow, we're doing all kinds of like nice uh, modern looking uh, cat toys and things this time. This is, look at this. This is a card. It's just a, a round sort of shape like that for them to, to climb in and on and scratch. That's a nice one too. It's uh, again, uh, sturdy, it's well constructed and it, it fits in pretty well with all the stuff that uh, we've been receiving in today's mailbag. We've got kind of a uh, modern, spacey feeling kind of theme thing going on here and I like it. Also, a little something extra in the bottom here. Oh, this apparently had a label on it, which has transferred itself to the packing material. Boots and Barkley, Cat Scratcher Tunnel, it says. Cat Scratcher Tunnel. That's a great idea. Uh, cats love this kind of stuff. You know, like the, we had the one that was shaped like a cat head. That one was very unstable. <laughs> this one at least has a nice flat base. I don't think it's going to get rolled around too much. In fact, the cat head, uh, I don't know where it is right now, but wherever it is, I know uh, DJ has been putting it upside down because the ears work as uh, to help stabilize it a little bit. works better upside down than right side up. So on top of that, we have these uh, little llama or alpaca uh, cat toys. Does it say which one it thinks they are? Oh, wow, none of the above. I Very bad guess. These are sloths. And it says sloth cat toys. And they each have a little loop on the top, which means I could attach them to a cat wand, but I think it's even more fun if I use this to launch them like a rubber band gun, you know, like shoot them off my finger uh, for the cats. So that's going to be really fun. Also, I think Custard might really like one of these because that's a lot like the kind of stuff he likes. This one's got a real big loop on it. It's got a little smaller loop. I guess the, the loop size is not very consistent. Look, on this set, it's the brown one that's got the bigger loop, and the white one's got an even smaller loop. Hmm. Anyway, um, we might give Custard the one with the big loop unless you had some other idea because I think he, think he might like it. I don't know. Or he might just be like, eh, it's not just a hair tie. It's like a hair tie plus, okay? I'm not into all that. Uh, who knows? Maybe he is. All right, for now, I'm going to set those over here. That was the last mailbag box. So I think we're pretty much set, except, um, of course, I'll follow up with people on Discord about what to do with everything that you sent and make sure that it gets used in sort of the way that you intended. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I really appreciate also, uh, you know, the number of you that have, have sent things and said, you know, use them as you see fit. Uh, that, that makes my life easy, <laughs> which I appreciate as well. Um, speaking of making my life easy, I am uh, going to have to get up even though these two kittens are sound asleep. I think I heard DJ come home, so maybe, uh, maybe we can get this door open. That reminds me. Um, I think I showed in, in the last close-up that we put the uh, the barrier on the railing there so the kittens are pretty safe to run all the way around upstairs and they have been a few times now. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if we can open this door and have them find their way all the way to the master bedroom which is on the exact opposite end of the house. I think they will though. So. Um, uh, what was my point about that? I don't know what my point was, except that maybe I can just open this door and take the stuff out. Uh, she gets along great with the faculty. I don't think she even minds. I'm pointing. You can't see that she's back there, though, because no camera's covering that. Uh, Crouton is directly behind the camera, just sitting there, kind of chilling like she does. So uh, she gets along great with everybody. So I feel like I can just open this door and take the stuff out. And if the faculty comes in and if the kittens go out, it's all fine. It's all good. So uh, what I might do is get DJ, if she is in fact home, to open the, uh, the spa door too. That would give us a chance to get Pug all the way over here and uh, these kittens all the way over there. And then everybody can kind of mix around and have a good time. Honestly, um, I feel like uh, our new mom, Ocean, also is going to be fine with everybody all the time. Um, but it's a little early to test that yet. Uh, you know, uh, I, I feel like... Um, Soon, my plan now is to clean the first annex where these kids are, where the glass door is. And if not, if I'm not going to move Ocean into the first annex entirely, at least open the door and let her have access to it. And that way she can come over and look out the door at us as we're wandering around the house and stuff. And I know she'll appreciate that. And it will give me a proper chance to evaluate her attitude towards the faculty because she'll be seeing them all day. So 
that's what's next for me, although when I say what's next, that doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to get to it today. Uh, just, just the next part of my plans for uh, Kitten Academy. Speaking of plans, um, I have not had any time to work on the technical stuff that I'm doing, um, but I'm just, I'm continue to be so excited about it. It's just not, it's never the priority. Taking care of these kids and getting them sorted and everything um, is the priority. Oh, oh, and of course priorities. Um, the thing that I definitely have to do is like I said, Pug's adoption is this evening, uh, maybe as early as five. So I've got to make sure everything's in line for that. And I haven't done that yet. That'll mean, uh, you know, his endowments are set aside, but also I have to kind of go through the pile of stuff that's arrived since the last time I sorted to make sure there was nothing that got left in there for him. And then uh, get all that stuff set up outside, check his paperwork, uh, all that kind of stuff, and just get everything sorted for that. So that's, that's definitely a priority. Um, all right, for now, I'm gonna get all this stuff out of here and then we will wrap up the archive of Mailbag. But of course, uh, uh, if you're watching this live, uh, you can just keep on watching because that's the way it works. Okay, these two kids are so snuggled in, and every time I, every time I try to tell a uh, little chunk here to get up, he's like, "No, he snuggles in harder. He's just gonna snuggle right in there even harder." It's very cute. <laughs> these two are jumping off of the tree and onto the pile of garbage. That's cute too. I'm actually going to see if these guys will wake up if I carry them all the way to DJ or if they will continue to sleep and uh, hang out with her, which I know she would just love. Look how cute that is. Oh my goodness, that's too much. Okay. All right, let's try to make this a very smooth, smooth journey. Uh-oh. Well, they're already getting a little bit like, I didn't ask to be picked up for this. There's no more lap here, so we're done. Come on, buddy, though. We can do this. Can't we? Crumb's fine with it. Chuck's a little bit more skeptical of this process. Okay. I tell you what. Get this hamburger pod, clamshell pod, and we'll carry you over that way. Okay? And then you guys can nap and hang out, maybe. Or just walk right back here if that's your thing. You can walk right back, okay? This, by the way, uh, I know this looks exactly like the clamshells that we used to have. It is not. It is, it is not nearly as quality as the clamshells that we used to get. Uh, it's not going to stand up to the kittens. If you just touch the top, barely touch it, it collapses. In fact, I told DJ when I put it in here, she bought it. DJ bought this for the kittens because she wanted to see them oozing from the clamshell once again. So she bought it and it showed up. Uh, they, they're not going to play this game. Uh, anyway. Uh, she found it online, she bought it thinking it would be like the clamshells that we used to have, and it's not. It's, it's never going to work out quite as well as the old ones. Um, the good news is, I, I DJ didn't know this, but we still have one of the original clamshells. I think Pat sent it to us a while ago, a long while ago. Uh, we have one original, untouched, perfect clamshell. It hasn't been crushed. Uh, it stands up very well. And like I said, completely unused. I've been keeping it as a sort of like a secret to deploy someday when it was necessary. And apparently DJ has a, a great desire to see kittens oozing out of a clamshell. Uh, it may be time for me to find that because I don't think this one is going to cut it. Uh, but we'll see. We'll, we'll leave DJs out for a little while and see if it works. OK, uh, moving the kittens didn't work. But like I said, I'm going to open the doors and uh, maybe they'll move themselves if we're lucky. Let me see if I can arrange to get that door open at the other end, too, like I was saying. And use one of my shoes to prop this door open for a minute. Hi, right, Cruz, where are we going?
Sultan and Morsel together both already went all the way over to the spa to check out DJ. And while I was there, little Pug was still taking his nap, but I, uh, I picked him up and brought him in here so he could say hello to everybody or maybe goodbye, depending on how you look at it. He already did a goodbye wave, but oh, he doesn't want to do another. He's like, I don't want to see what all this stuff is. All right, pal, you do that. And uh, I'm going to start putting all this stuff away, all right? Downstairs. All right, how are we going to do this? Well, the box for disc cards. This is a pretty big box. Looks like we can fit everything else in. Let's start there. I might have to break down some of this plastic right now. A lot of packages. starts out by hissing at kittens because he likes to establish strong boundaries but uh, as you may have noticed after a little bit of time he gets to be friendly with everybody he loves to play uh, with um, with pug right now they've become real good friends even after all the hissing I guess you could say uh, they were gonna hiss and make up Ooh, that's good how have I never used that before Noises and moving stuff around and yeah, good, it's important. That's one of those enzymatic cleaners. They call them enzymatic because they don't want to say it's just spraying bacteria on the problem. But this is what it really is. It's uh, bacteria that eats the mess or the smells. Uh, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute and then I'll clean it up with another product that cleans bacteria. See, see how that works? Now, it's like uh, swallowing a fly. No one there to play. 
Well, I was just trying to remember, isn't it, uh, isn't it Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where uh, Douglas Adams uh, says that Belgium is one of the most offensive words in the universe? Isn't that what it is? Isn't it? Uh, big, big recollection there. Just funny. I mean, he's being funny, of course. He doesn't mean it in our world. He's, you know, it's a fantasy book where there actually are aliens and things. Apparently, they find out words very offensive.
Okay, I just I got a message that said, you know, that cat pod with the dome, I moved it out in the hall already. Uh, apparently that is also wall mountable. So the dome would be pointing out of our climbing wall and the little uh, the entry then would be on the left hand side. And uh, uh, I guess that's why Pat sent it was to add to the wall. That's even cooler. <laughs> that's pretty exciting, wow. Uh, that's, that's a very fun idea. Think about where to put it on there. Hmm. Hmm. Very cool. None of the other kittens have left the room yet, really, except uh, um, uh, Morsel left right away with her mom, and then DJ brought her back because she seemed like she was lost or something. And just now she ran all the way down the hall to DJ again. I guess Morsel knows what she wants. And it's DJ. Hi, Pago. Oh, you're in the house of fun. Come on, pal. Welcome to the house of fun. Oh great, now I'm going to have that Madness song stuck in my head all day. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Well, that's all the stuff cleared out of here, and it's going to take me a while to get everything else, uh, you know, down the stairs into this proper zone. So I think we're about ready to end the archive. But as usual, if, uh, if you'd like to keep watching, just do it. Or if you're watching on the archive, uh, well, you know where to go.
That sounded rude. I meant to the Kitten Academy live stream, obviously.